welcome back let's understand how we can transform a json payload to the xml payload in this video as discussed in previous session our mule flow is getting a json payload whereas the target system was expecting the payload as xml so this is the json payload we are going to get over the request and we need to frame this xml payload from this json object and send it to the target system whereas the target system is not interested in all the fields that are in the json it has interested in very few fields this has been provided in the requirement document so according to the requirements in real time we should frame the corresponding target payloads for the same once we start writing the transformation logic that looks like this so here we are having this json payload right to convert this into a xml payload in transform message activity we should take output as application slash xml and a xml payload contains root element then elements inside it so to do the transformation let's go to anypoint studio and drag and drop a transform message activity once we receive the request we supposed to insert this into database we will see that in coming sections right now let's work with transformations from one type to other type and we look at this transform message activity right we have it as define metadata for inbound that means which is input to the this transform message that is going to be a json payload as shown here this is the inbound payload and this will be the outbound payload so we need to define metadata of inbound and outbound then we should do the mapping that will generate as the data view logic by default the transform message comes as output as application slash java once we define the metadata and we do drag and drop this will automatically change it to the corresponding outbound type so to define this metadata first thing we should have the inbound payload and outbound payload where we can get this whenever we have a requirement a requirement document will be provided in the real time there everything will be provided so what is the input payload is going to come and what is the transformation should be taken care and what is the output type of payload should be framed so we simply need to take these examples and store them into a json file for inbound and the expected outcome in the outbound file i have already created those files and here we look for a json payload we see the json payload i have got it from the requirement document in similar way i also prepared the required xml payload from the requirement into a xml document if you look here right this is the expected outcome of xml payload all we need to do is go to this transform message activity in inbound metadata click on define metadata and choose a proper type let me give it as register covid case metadata click on create type and here we have number of types so we have a flexibility to do the transformations on these many types something like json to csv json to copybook or json to excel or excel to csv these many permutations and combinations right now the inbound metadata we are going to get is of json type let's choose as json and here we have a flexibility to choose schema or example so let's choose example and click on this browse button and the file we saved as dot json correct go there and load that particular json file click on open and we look at this json file right here we have values as well whereas this metadata only takes the structure and the input fields 
it won't take the values we can see here right it has just got the metadata nothing but the data about json payload not the values click on select so that it will populate the inbound metadata fields over here we can see right source case type first name all those as came here and in similar way we need to browse and create the metadata for expected target payload so click on add and let me give a name as who case metadata click on create type and choose this type as xml then let me choose as example browse the particular xml payload we prepared for outbound metadata choose it click on open and also we notice here some notification right it is saying as yes, this particular payload will be stored to source main resources examples so click on select and if we go to source main resources examples correct here we can see those particular json payload and xml payload copied to the project so that whoever x imports this project next they would able to find this metadata from examples all we need to do is simply map the corresponding mapping to the outbound so the first name should be mapped to the first name immediately we see right since the outbound metadata is of xml we see the java as changed to application slash xml and also we see the piece of data view logic has generated here so let me drag and drop last name to last name and phone to phone email to email date of birth to date of birth and country to country let's save it now we can see the generated transform message logic so once you get more hands on on these transform missions right we sometimes we may not load this inbound metadata and outbound metadata every time with hands on we would able to write this logic directly by end of this course you will be in a position to write these transformations directly without creating inbound and outbound metadata whereas if we have complex examples right like very nested json payload or xml payload or collection of nested json payloads collection of nested xml payloads during the time that makes sense to create inbound metadata outbound metadata then do the mapping the logic can be generated automatically for us let me have a logger component to print this payload so the first logger will print the json payload since we are sending a json payload to this listener then after the transform message we see here right we are injecting this output into the payload so that the payload will be overrided with the generated xml payload let me print the payload here let's save let me debug the application the application has deployed now let's go ahead and make the request request came and we look at payload right we got the json payload say next next and immediately after this transformation from json to xml we can see a xml payload as generated as expected if i say next we can see here at first it printed the json payload then it printed the required xml payload so this way we do transformations of json payload to xml payload in next session i will show you how we can do vice versa xml to json thank you happy learning